see. There's no stopping what can't be stopped. No killing what can't be killed. Ready or not. happening YouTube it's K Mega 405 live from the 405 well I'm just your regular gamer talking to the intelligent gamers now of course I will not be on GRG tonight it sucks I've got uh, personal things I need to be taken care of you know family first and uh, you know so the crew will definitely hold it down but please check them out uh, it will be on my channel uh, and so yeah everything will be ready to go uh, and Delilah will probably most likely be the host, but hell, for all I know, it could be all day, and then everything will crash and burn. Uh, it could be live wire, and then at that point, I'll probably be flagged because he'll probably say the most outlandish shit ever. But you know what? It'll still be a good damn show, uh, just like every show has been. So yeah, check the check them out. Um, I wish I was be there. I don't know if I could catch next tomorrow. Hopefully, I can. Um, but like I said, you know what I'm saying? Family first, got to take care of gotta take care of fam. So uh, got to make sure that I got to get that squared away. And then definitely I will be ready to go E3 day, which is actually Sunday night. Uh, even though I heard the EA was going to have a conference tomorrow, which is kind of odd, uh, or, or some kind of presser or something, which that would probably be cool. But I hope that they wouldn't have the show tomorrow because that just kind of goes against the tradition. I know that Xbox is going against the tradition by putting on Sunday, but I think that it's huge that they did that because they finally get their day to shine. PlayStation is always running Mondays because they have it at the, the best time slot in the evening. So Sunday is actually probably maybe the best because it's on a weekend in the evening time, well, in the U.S., and it's just it just sets up for a longer show, which we've heard, and that means that they're going to be talking about games, and they're going to be talking about a lot of stuff, and they're not going to be talking about VR, which that gives a lot of uh, excitement to uh, you know the Xbox base. PlayStation is going to have one hell of a show because they'll have plenty of time to combat. They got all these marketing deals, so they're going to show a lot of cool shit, um, you know, but. Who knows? I, you know, but I want to interact with you guys. I want you guys in the comment section to let me know your predictions of what's going on with E3. What the hell is happening? What do you think? Who's going to win? Why they're going to win? I want to hear what you, what, what's your biggest and, and, and what's your craziest fantasy you wish to come. Do you want PlayStation to come with a Soul Calm, a Bloody Roar, God of War 4, and a Toshinden? You know, all this year, or is it that you want Xbox to bring back Fable, um, Ninja Gaiden, exclusive, uh, Otagi, or you know, what I'm saying, or just anything, anything Nintendo to bring a Donkey Kong, uh, a Star Fox, and a Metroid all together, you know, what I'm saying, it, this year, like that would be just bizarre. Like, just give me your thoughts on it because this is our time, you know, fuck the haters because it doesn't matter what somebody see or what anybody on the stage and what they do, there's always going to be some kind of naysayer. So crying and bitching and saying, no. 
Fuck them. This is our time. And this is for the gamers out here that just want to see one hell of a show because as I've been saying is that this could be the most epic E3 of all time because now it's kicked in gear. Everybody's been ready for this gen to kick in gear. It's finally here. It took the mid-gen systems to kind of get to it, but it seems like the time has come. And now since Nintendo is an actual player, the Switch is the real deal. And Nintendo could definitely win uh, the end of the year because of the fact that they have Mario coming and if they have any surprises that they want to add to the end of the year would be crazy. Of course, PlayStation is going to bring out their new handheld from what the rumors or the leaks have been showing. I don't think it looks like that prototype because it's kind of ugly, but just to think that you could have PlayStation games on the go and as powerful as the PlayStation is, and you know that this new thing is going to be more powerful than the Switch, that's going to be a big deal. I think maybe PlayStation might have something here, but it's according how it it uh, it connects with the PlayStation 4. But yes, you have to be determined. Of course, Xbox, they're going to be doing things with VR. I'm not too big on this whole VR thing, but I've said this once and I'll say it again. If they show any type of games, I know they're going to show VR, but if they show games that's going to be on UWP like a new House of the Dead because they're supposed to be working with Sega, or something of that nature, then I'm all in. You know, I'll go ahead and 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 because it's at a, a price that I would that I would want to dabble in for a peripheral. Peripheral. I don't want to pay five hundred dollars for something that I'm not going to play on forever. Um, you know, but also, you know, what I'm saying a, a lot of eyes is going to be on Microsoft because of the Scorpio, the price. Uh, PlayStation has kind of got an easy coast. The only thing they got to do is just show some new IPs, something that will shock everybody, maybe like a SOCOM, something like that. They'll be fine, but all eyes are definitely going to be on Xbox. And this is E3. This is not about the numbers. This is not about this and that. This is about the game. Yeah. Getting back on track if you